Hello, sir, friends. Making this video to share some of the things I've learned about getting that essential surf sound called drip reverb. Now, this is a sound we've all heard mentioned, read about being mentioned. Do we know what it is? Can we analyze it? Do we understand it? And, most importantly of all, can we, using the equipment we have at hand, get it? Now, understand that when we listen to a recording from the 1960s that has this famed thing, drip reverb, we're hearing several things today that are not available to us when we go to play live. One of them is the fact that it was done in a studio, and the engineers could add things, change things in the sound from what the musicians were getting live. Now, if you were to listen to that same group live at that time, you'd still hear drip sound, maybe not identical to what you heard in the recording, but it would be there. And they would get it with the equipment of the time, which was a freestanding Fender reverb unit that plugged in ahead of their amplifier. And this is somewhat different than the reverb that is built into our amplifiers today, even those that have real spring reverb. Now, what I'm using today in the demonstration is my favorite amp for most purposes these days, and particularly for playing surf, and that's a Line 6 Duoverb. The Line 6 has the capability of mimicking many amps, some of which we use two at once. Now, in my case, this is a setup, a, you might say a program that I've made for it, specifically to play surf music using my Jaguar. And it actually is made up of two amplifiers together. You see it here. One is the Line 6 Clean. It's a amplifier that has a very, very clean front end with a rear end, the power section, that comes from a Marshall. Well, why Marshall? That's not a Fender. Well, the original Marshalls were based on the original Fenders. And if you go back to the early recordings, and you'd say this is really more pre-surf, but it, to most surf musicians it's the beginning of the sound, was the Ventures, and they were playing with the old Tweed amplifiers, not with black faces. They came later, the ones that we think of when we think of the surf music. So they would have a reverb system that had it plugged into an amp, and I'm doing that here too. I'm using a second amp, and that is a model of an AC30 Vox amplifier because it adds the chime. And the two of these together give a sound that to me is quintessential surf, but not on their own. And that's what I want to demonstrate. Now to do this, I'm going to use a melody, the second melody line from the well-known surf song called Penetration. And I'll try to play this for you now and hope my fingers don't lock up. And you'll hear there's something missing. Something missing. It's the reverb. Now, when we say reverb, we can't think of the sound of a modern spring reverb that's built into the amp. The Line 6 has a superb one. I'm going to turn it on now, and then you can hear what adding this type of reverb does to the sound, and how it adds to it, but it's still not drip. So now I'm on. Notice reverb. And I'll play the same line again. is not an old classical spring reverb. It's too clean, it's too pure. It's, you might say, an improved version, but we want 1960s sound, not an improved version. And this is so with any amp. I have here a wonderful silver face amp with a true Fender reverb. It's, it's one of the best, but it does not give me drip. Close? Yeah, but not the real thing. How can we get the real thing? There are several tools that I find, in my judgment, really get the sound. Let me show you what they are. Here's the first. Now, it's not a reverb unit at all. It's a unit that digitally creates something called slapback echo. This means a sound that we hear 
that returns to us very, very quickly. I'm going to turn off the reverb on the amp and just put on the slap echo. I'll let you hear it yourself. So the reverb is off. Now it goes on the slap echo. Now listen. Do you hear that very quick resound? That is the beginning, the essence of what we call drip. But there's still something missing. What is it's missing? It's dry. It has that first slap back, but no reverb following it. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to show you the difference when you add the equivalent of an old-fashioned spring reverb. Now, I don't have the freestanding unit. Most of us don't. They use their seven, eight hundred dollars. New, they're almost the same. But I'm using a Boss Fender reverb pedal that is modulated. Oh, I'm sorry, is modeled. And it really gets very close to the sound. I'm going to first turn off the slap echo and just let you hear the reverb. Now here's the modeled spring reverb. there and notice the difference it makes as we move towards drip. you say, that's not even a part of it. But it is, at least in my judgment. And that is good old-fashioned tremolo. Not deep, not deeply wavering, very shallow. But again, it adds to that feeling of pulsing. Remember that the idea of wet surf music is to be emulating the ocean, the sound of the surf. Listen how when I add that one more touch to it, very subtly, it gets us right where we need to be. So now I have my slap echo on, I have my reverb on, and I also just added tremolo. system without having to lot, own a lot of classic, expensive gear. Thanks for listening.